Good morning and sliding in afternoon. Judy Allen here with Teach Me Nana. And today we're going to be showing you how we're going to use that envelope to create. And we're also going to use a brush to create a background for us. All right. So with that, let's go down the hands and let's show you what we've already created and we'll create what we're going to create today. All right. So let's, let's do, do this. this. So, so these are the items we've already created. These are in 3D. There's a lot of shadow because these are actually 3D, right? Looky there. I'm just going to show you in case you didn't see them before because they're really cute, really fun, and we'll most probably show you how to do those again because they're just, once you get the knack of the fact that you've got all these fun folds and creases here, they're just really easy to do, okay? So we'll just keep showing you there. And this was actually the alternative card that we created last week. So today we're creating an alternative card, and it's sort of different, right? We're taking something and making it into a card. So we're going to use this right here. This is Daffodil and Light. And the first thing before we even get started, we're going to do the upper half of this card stock here that's just basic white. It's going to go up here like this. And we're just going to add a little bit of color to it, okay? And the reason why we're doing it is because I want it to be a sunny day, a bright sunny day. This here is a Lemon Lolly. And here's the brush we're going to use. It's just a uh, big blender brush. And let's see. I always try to see what it looks like if I'm going to do it. So what I always try to tell people to do is if you're going to do it, come from the side of the paper here like I did just there. And come across this way and that way. Because see, if I dot like that, see what happens. All right. So I'm trying not to do that. But what I am going to do is I just start from the side here and I just brush on over. It sort of stops me from doing that. And I'm just doing the top part here, and you're going to see why. Now, the thing is, is I wasn't too really, really worried if this was too light, because if it was too light, then all I would do is we'll just start at, at a darker yellow, right? Because this is actually Lemon Lolly. It's a really, really light yellow. So I'm just giving it a little sunny. It looks like it's got some clouds or something there. And I'm pretty much done with that, all right? The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a sunshine. This is why I did it this color. I could have actually done it just about this color here, but I wanted to be able to show it better. See if I do this right here, you can see it's a little bit lighter yellow. So it's going to show up just a tad bit better if I went really dark and matched it exactly. So this is even a shade darker. So just to give you an idea, here's the Lemon Molly. Here's Daffodil Delight. And then here is Crushed Curry just to show you the different shades of yellow there that's there. So I'm going to actually use the darkest one to do the sun. The stamp from here. And we're going to put our sun in the background. Just have to tap it three times, really. You want to check to see how well you stun it. All you got to do is that, okay? And I also just look through the stamp itself to make sure it looks like it's got good coloring. And I'm just going to stamp this over here like here. Now see, because I did it darker, see how that's going to look next to that light yellow? Now, if I wanted to come and add more yellow, I can, right? So let's just do that so you can see what it looks like. And it's okay, right? That's the beauty of doing something like this. Again, I would just tap it there. And then I'm just going to come. And I'm going to even go over that sun I just did, right? I can soften it just a little bit. It's a nice sunny day, right? I'm going to be at the beach. So there you go. So yes, be sure to leave comments if you have any comments and all. We always like to get comments. Okay, so th this here is, we're going to get this from the envelope. So if you want to know how we did this, here's the envelope. And literally, I cut along the flap line there, right? And then this has actually got, where you can lick the envelope and seal it. I just cut that off. So if you want to see, All, you can see where I've just sort of staggered it off because that's how the envelope will look, okay? So, I'm not going to use the rest of this right now, but right, as we've used the envelopes in the past, we can still use this one and put that aside. I'll just, that's why I tell you to save your scraps. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I'm going to put it down with adhesive, just regular adhesive. And yes, we could do something just as easily with the back side here, right? That would be very pretty. For the surfboards or anything else you want to add to it here. So I'm going to put this across here, and I'm putting this like this here because I like the little wavy look there. And you'll see in a minute when I add the other part, what I'm talking about, you can be able to see it. 
Now, that's going to be off just a smidgen, and I'm okay with that because I can trim it, right? We are going to put this on here just like this. So how cool is that? So see, you can see it's not going to quite go to the end either side, either way I go. Either way I go, it's not going to go, right? So I'm just going to trim off on the sides. So for example, I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave this one like this right here because I like this in the background. And I'm just going to trim it just right there. Okay? So we put it here. I'm just going to get my uh, trimmer out here. And we're going to just trim off that part to give us a nice smooth edge. And the easiest way I always do this, I just line like this right part right here up. Because that lets me see where it's been cut. And that's oh, us going on and I'm just gonna take it off like that there now if it bothered you just that smidge in there then just fine just take it line it up exactly where you want it so this what you see right coming down here is gonna be the cutting line so I don't want to take a lot off just gonna take enough right just to cut off that one little piece for people that are, want it exactly perfect okay now let's see if we're gonna have to alter anything else so we have our cardstock. So here's the cardstock, and the cardstock is going like here. So see, with me just trimming off the end, it's really not going to matter. It's just going to give a little bit of trim on both sides because this is going to be covered, right? I'm going to cover it with this right here. And see how that's going to fit perfectly? So there you go. So let's get this. We're going to go ahead and get this down. And then I'm actually going to put the sand and the pale up on some dimensionals just to give it some height there and then we'll put a tag on there and we'll pretty much be done that's how easy it is to make an alternative so I'm just going to center it right here then I'm going to put this up on dimensionals which this kit did not have dimensionals because right because everything was designed everything on the fold but that's okay we always have leftovers from previous kits so that's not a big deal don't sweat the small stuff that's small stuff but you can see just by using the blending brush like we did to add some color to the background look how that just looks really nice and it just makes that pop a little and we can definitely use some wink of Stella just so that they can give that sunshine some sparkle and we can add that wink of Stella which is right it's nothing more than a glitter brush right just a fine glitter brush it's real real fine just gives it a nice little sheen and we're just gonna add this right here in here just like that so it's gonna get us from edge to edge and it's gonna leave it just like that now we're gonna stamp a tag so I already have the words waving hello I'm waving hello to you how would you see is that I'm waving hello to you so yes if you so we're making this alternative it's very similar to the alternative that they, they had on the back of uh, the directions for the regular kit they, they always have a few that we that they make available to show you and that we usually demonstrate a couple of them to you just to show you how easy it is to make the alternatives and then I'm just going to put this up on dimensional from right here as well, too. And then we can add some bling to it, and we have a finished card. That's how easy that is. Because they die cut all that for us, right? That made life a lot easier. Made making the card a lot easier. So there you go. So yes, next Friday will be Freebie Friday. Next Friday will be Freebie Friday. I'm just gonna put this right here. I'm trying to see what he might have. It like right, looks like right there. All right, we can put it right there. We're gonna add some Winka Stella. Just to give that sunshine a little, a little sunshine, a little sparkle. For sure the beach is real sparkly too, right? So I'll just show you when I finish how it just looks. Just by adding a little bit of Winka Stella, how it can make all the difference in the world. So just let me show you that sunshine. So we can get your lighting just right so you can see. Huh, I can't see. 
I promise you it's there. It's just a light little sheen. Uh, I can't see it myself. I can see it directly in the light, but I can't seem to get the light just right. But it's just a light because it's the way the sun is. See if I can put on something else for you to see. I can paint this here. Like I said, it just adds a little sparkle. Okay, see if we can see that better on there. Oh, there you go. Now, see the sheen right there? You can see the sheen on that angle. So it's just a light sheen. It's not overly sparkly or anything else. Just enough to give it just a little sparkle, right? So with that, we're just going to sit there and add our bling here. Add our bling. And actually, I'm going to put mine in the background. If I can get it off of me. There we go. It's definitely tiny. There we go. I'm just going to make it sparkle all over the place, right? Because we went to the beach right now, so right? It's got a little bit of, got the sparkle in it from the pieces of sand. They're always in, or I shouldn't say pieces of glass. It's not real glass, right? It's just sand turns into glass, right? You can make it turn into glass. That's how glass is made. So let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. Let me get this here. Okay, so we can put more on there, but looky there. We're just going to give it a little sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. i got my, all my sparkling people have left me. Right? And we'll see them soon enough. Alright, I'm going to put just one more to this side. Let's see, we always work for odd numbers, right? Well, I already got odd numbers on there. Alright, I'm going to still put two more then because we'll go nine then. That'll be an odd number because I want it on this side and I want it more up there. Okay, so we've added just a lot of sparkle there, because we can, right? And that's how simple it is to make an alternative. So this is this week's alternative. And this is last week's alternative, where we took the fun fold cards and the stuff that went with it to make the whole 3D look and all, and we turned around and made them into alternative cards. So I hope you enjoyed that. It wasn't really that difficult, right? All we did was use some, the brush there to put on some color to some white cardstock to make this sunny look in the background without having to use regular cardstock. We added coordinating cardstock that all my customers got that I shipped out to them to coordinate with the kit. And then we just stamped it and added some other things to it. So it's just very simple and it's easy to do, right? So if you enjoyed this, I hope you will follow us here, not only on Facebook, but also on YouTube and Instagram where we post the videos and we post the cards and you might want to take a look at what we posted for the kit that's coming up in see today's August September right because the deadline September the 10th it just came out today and they have a beautiful add-on book and it's a beautiful kit if you haven't seen it so we'll post it later so you'll see that as well too again thank you for joining us today next week is freebie Friday and we look forward to seeing you be blessed. Have a totally amazing weekend. Totally amazing week. And we'll see you soon. Bye.